Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Avalar Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Do you guys see it? There's a chest over here. So what I decided to do is go knock out the rest of the wolf quests. my next priority, and I'll put off the other quest till after I finish the quest. We'll open up with some action here. And then carry into some more action. Because that... I've been a little self-conscious about this series so far. So you attempt to recover some water from the black pool, but the waters recede every time your hand gets close to its surface. I've been a little self-conscious because I feel like the pacing for this Let's Play is off. There's just... There's so much to do. Like, even my commentary gets stunned every now and then because I've... I'm constantly thinking about what I'm going to do next. So I keep having these pauses trying to think... Uh, you know... What, what to do next? Wait, I left some... Loot back here? Oh, I did kill a, a stag, I guess. Or antelope. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to... Usually by about episode 5, the Let's Play... I start to get into a rhythm for the Let's Play, but this game is so massive, like I barely put a dent into the game. Um. So I definitely feel that the pacing is off, especially with like how much dialogue and stuff there is. That's weird, it made me stop running. Oh, that's right, it jumps around. Well, I'm gonna go grab this pile of rocks. And we'll wait down that direction for the, uh, the whale. So it'll, it'll circle back around. care about all right so it goes up that way we'll go chill up there until it comes back around After I finish slaughtering all this wildlife. That wasn't very hard at all. Chest over here. Yes, I should have level five dispel very soon, or not dispel, uh, detect hidden, so I can find all the secret doors and stuff. Because I think there's secret doors in this area. I don't think there's an area where there aren't secret doors. I should. Is this the next stop? Oh, did it skip this one? Or does it come here next?
All right, as the leech wood bark lands on the surface of the pool, it sinks into the swirling blackness, and suddenly all seems at peace. You take a draw out of the wandering will. So what I'm going to do this episode is knock out the side quest in this area and explore this area. Pretty sure these caves and stuff are relevant to quests. If not, we'll be sure to explore those at some point. But then what I'll do after this episode and exploring and fighting my way through this area... Um, next episode will be me talking to either Shielder and Keep... I might be able to knock out both Shielder and Keep and the House of Ballads in one go. Because I don't they're not like full size towns, I don't think. So then I can have one episode where I just talk to both of the stab both of these settlements in this area. Cause that'll take a little bit of time. And that'll probably be like an hour and a half long of just dialogue. But for now, let's go talk to Penry Kill. We're on our way to go talk to... What's his name? Einry? Einry? Einry. Yeah, it's going to be a weirdly paced Let's Play anyway. There's just there's so much to do. And this is like an MMO-sized single-player game. Hail, traveler. For a while, I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveler by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? I don't like skipping dialogue either, because one of the things on my channel is I cover all the dialogue in the game. Now, usually I'm reading it myself, so I'm a little bit more involved. But honestly, I like not having to read all the dialogue. I like how it's all voice acted. So I sit back drink my coffee while the NPCs talk. Uh, Yolvin. It is the crossroads of the southern and eastern routes. It is also a haven for those wishing to escape the horrors of Webwood. To the west lies Gorehart Village. To the north is the House of Ballads. Yeah, good old, good old Webwood. Uh, Webwood. I've travelled Webwood many times, but that was before the recent unpleasantness. Spiders have overtaken the forest. It is best avoided. Uh, Warsworn. Anyone who labors to defy nature is a fool. The Warsworn built that keep to stand for all time. But it will fall, like all the others. They should heed the lesson of Castle Yolven. If magic wishes to reclaim what's rightfully hers, she will do it. Okay, uh, Tuatha. They usually stay with the war in the east, thankfully so. But I've killed a few here in the dark wood. Wish I knew what brought them. Uh, travelers. New to the Feylands, yes? We travelers are folks without land, law, or king. We go where we want and do what we please. That aside, it's pretty much common knowledge that we're some of the greatest thieves in the land. Kiss a traveler and count your teeth, so the saying goes. <laughs> I like that saying. A uh, penry kill. I'm a firstborn traveler's child, raised to live the way my people have for centuries, by wit and wiles. Uh, House of Ballads. At first listen, the face speak in riddles, but bend an ear. They revere stories. It is how they give their lives meaning. If you can call what they do life, the House of Ballads is a place where the Fae revel in their past glories. It is north of here if you're curious. Alright, and Gorehart. Lambs, all of them, yes. The people in Gorehart wish to hide from the wall beneath the trees. But you and I both know the truth. There's no running from the Tuatha. Uh, Crystal War. None are safe from its wilting touch. Not even the travelers. Like everyone, Armalor, our fate is in the cards. And Castle, Castle Yovan. Yovan. An ancient castle inhabited by spiders. They say a witch is involved in its overthrow. I do not know of such things. Well, at least you're smart enough to say you don't know. Uh, what do you have in mind? Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads fay. They are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. Okay, uh, what's in it for me? Hm, never met a traveler before, have you? 
We may look humble, but our purses are always full. You can find a lot of coin if you know where to look. And when. Alright, I'll do it. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. A Ballad of the Ring. It is the story of a maiden who lost her ring to a greedy troll. A young knight, wishing to be her champion, offered to reclaim it. The champion killed antelope and used the carcass as bait. When the troll came to feed, the knight killed the troll and returned the ring to the maiden. The ballads of these fae repeat naturally, but if we reprise it now, we can force the troll and the ring to appear again. It's the way these fae work. It's pretty interesting. Uh, why do we need hunting trophies? Who knows? You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fae. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. Well, I've cut down a couple of antelope already. We'll grab this. I'll go talk to the uh, wolfman real fast. Turn in that quest. They will knock out this one. Come here, buddy. It is there, Tulax. The scent of water. Faint, but it does not escape me. My pack shall hear of your compassion and honor. I now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack. And now you may continue on your path, but with the knowledge of how to fight with the strength of a wolf. Now I shall drink deep of this potion and return to my kind. Godspeed. So it says with the strength of a wolf, do I get something out of that? I don't know if I get a, uh... Oh, here's the skill list. Yeah, we're almost at, well, I guess level 4 of Detect Hidden. You need level 5 to find the secret doors. Also, Lore Stones, I only have covered this. So we're almost done. We need two more of these and three more of these. This is why lore stones are important, not only for lore and dialogue, but you also get bonuses. I feel like I found f more than this, right? Two, five, that's five altogether. Pretty sure, because there was, what? There was one down here, and there's four in here, that's five, and then I found one over here, six. This one not save? Hmm. I felt like I found more than that. That may be something I find off camera. Depending on how it goes. You usually find them pretty easily naturally just by exploring the region. I need to find an antelope. There were a couple over here that I murdered off camera. Oh, here we go. I need four of them. Ah, that's annoying. Well, I don't know if they're scattered throughout this entire region, if I can just run around, or do I, if I need to stick near the quest location. I swear I found, I found six of these darn things. This is going to bother me. Hold on. Three, yeah, there's only five. Oh, okay, yeah, I have found six. There we go. I just had to scroll down. I was right. 
I'm trying to keep track of them in my head so I can get the bonuses. So they find. This is one that I dispelled earlier, but I don't have the key for. Yeah. Alright, we'll do a once more round here for the antelope. If I don't see them, then we'll move on. Uh, we'll continue exploring the region. Let's see what other treasures and stuff we can find. start heading north because I haven't discovered I haven't been up this way yet there's a hollow log up there so that's where we'll head and uh, if I can get close enough to the house of ballads to get the fast travel point that would be super convenient as well I don't know if you have to enter As I was saying, I don't know if you have to enter the location to unlock the fast travel point, but uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. Let's go up this way a little ways. This is a jump off point there, so it circles back around. This reminds me of those stones uh, from SpongeBob, where he builds a the statues of himself and it makes the uh, the music for the jellyfish. Alright, so I found two chests that I don't have the key for. I kind of want to go up here and take these guys on. I don't know where this goes. Uh, this is going to take me to a new location. I don't want to go up here yet. But now we know it's up this way. So let's circle back around. See what other loot we can find. The lore stone. The chest up there. How do I get to that? Must be a dungeon that leads us to that. I don't know what to do. Why go to a fate weaver? Why? Okay. Sometimes I don't feel this way. Sometimes it's reassuring, but but not right now. Not when it's so close. I still think it's a blessing. Talking to that fate weaver means I can make good on the time I have left. But how can I tell my family? It's like erasing the smiles from their faces. Or, or like killing the joy in their hearts. Why would I do that? So I don't feel guilty about deceiving them? Isn't that just selfish? Is it completely selfish to not tell them? So I don't have to see them upset? But facing this alone, truly, truly alone, I can't do it. Alright, so I should have the key for this one, because I had three keys, and I found the... This is five keys. And I have found uh, 
the two chests that I can't open yet. So I haven't seen any antelope chilling. Is that a lore stone? Or is that a shrine? It's a lore stone. In his great plan, Mitharu blessed both us and the Fae with nature. I found all the, uh... The Fae say these stones will hold the memories of those who talk to them, and will hold them forever, unlike the confessions I hear. I don't know how this works, and it lacks the structure and order that is the mark of Mitharu. This may be the place I should go. Mitharu had no hand in it. Look at it. Mossy, pale rock blank, with cracks. So many cracks. Alright, so you saw I got the buff there. Uh, not ability status. Okay, so I have this uh, nature's primacy now. Uh, plus 4% damage with melee versus humans. So that's really good for my build because I have a melee build. And we are currently fighting a fair bit of humans. Alright, cool. So we got House of Ballads. I don't know if it's an available fast travel point now. Yes, it is. Perfect. Alright, let's go find some antelope so we knock out this other quest. I might end up using a guide for the lore stones if I miss them. So far, I've been doing a good job of finding them, I think. Again, they're pretty easy to spot. I found this one last episode. I need to find a bridge. Oh, <laughs> there's a bridge. The game is really pretty. Even, like, the default game before the remaster was really, really good looking. Uh, that's the one that I can't open yet. Alright, so I don't know. I assume the antelope respawn. I hope they do. So need to find three. Personally, I can't stand quests like this. It can be extremely time consuming. So we open up that chest at the beginning of the episode. I'm assuming maybe all right, I'm gonna reset the area and see if it, uh... Causes the antelope to respawn. Yeah, I can empty out my inventory real fast. Not that I've picked up a lot of stuff this time around. Yes, what do you need? Need to start using some potions, I think. Good I need to drop that invoice. Uh, let's see. Or at least it's in junk now, so that helps us a little bit. Alright, let's see about traveling back. Should we go to fast travel to Gorguith, or whatever it's called? 
So I don't remember if a cutscene triggers when you go to Shield Ring Keep. I don't think it does. But better safe than sorry. So I know leaving an area and the rate entering it is supposed to change the uh, enemy's level types. So I'm assuming to, they're supposed to update to your level. So I'm hoping that the antelopes respawn. I might have to rest at an inn. That's so expensive. I don't want to spend 300 or whatever gold. I don't know if it's a permanent unlock or not. I'm pretty sure I've explored basically the entire area. I haven't been down here. Or over here, but that goes to the next uh, area. Hey, good news is we're close to leveling up. That's exciting. Ah, there's one. Ah, there's another one. All right, we're making progress, guys. All right, finally, you guys have no idea how long this has taken me. I had to tra travel all the way back to over here. I've been searching for an antelope for an hour. We're gonna knock out this quest. I'm gonna call it an episode. I don't know how long it's gonna be once I finish editing. I don't know when the episode's gonna come out, uh, be uploaded because <laughs> of editing. Oh man, what a hassle. Is this better than, uh, no, it is not better. The other thing was armor, wasn't it? Weren't they gauntlets? Yeah, they're not as good. Uh, real quick before I forget, though, I did find a shield. Uh, cause I, I tried every trick in the book to get antelope to spawn over in, um, this area. They just wouldn't. Let's go ahead and fast travel back. I did find a purple shield. I killed a sprite because I kept getting the enemies to respawn by resting at the inn over and over again. Uh, but no antelope would spawn. But I did find a shield. Uh, Aegis of Anvas. Blocks 9 damage, 10 armor, 6 health, 6 mana. A de dedicated to Edwina Anvas, a pioneering student of the Order of the Ash, and patron of Almain sorcery during the flowering of human magic in the Age of Arcane. It looks pretty cool too. I'll show it off. It's, uh, it's got like a skull on it and stuff. Pretty edgy. Alright, let's finally go take care of this. <laughs> you guys have no idea how long, how frustrating that quest was. Because no antelope would spawn in this area. Good. The troll that stole the ring in the ballad is named Lekka the Corpulent. I guess he had a bit of a appetite. You need to mount the trophies just like the champion in the ballad. When all are displayed, Lekka should come. Once he's there, it should be easy business claiming the ring. I mean, you've killed a troll before, right? All right, what do I do with these trophies? You need to display them in the ruins. That's what's going to draw out Lekka the corpulent and get us the ring. All right, sounds easy Farewell. enough. All right, so just in case, because I don't know how I'm going to edit this yet. Um, I am currently level 6, and my... That's how my skills are certainly set up. I have... I put a fourth point into Detect Hidden. That's really it. I just leveled up the one time. And I maxed out my, uh... uh skillful Defense. In case I don't showcase that. I'm close to leveling up. I'll probably level up after this quest as well, so... Alright, let's go do this.
That was really easy. There's the Maiden's Ring. I think that's the quest item. Alright, let's knock this out real fast. Uh, can I do the next level of this? Oh, no, I have to be level 8. Um, Probably lockpicking or mercantile would be good. Mercantile is probably better, because uh, lockpicking, you can kind of do that no matter what. Um, so mercantile. Then I can buy more lockpicks when I fail at lockpicking. And then here, I can get hardy constitution, so percentage health and percentage elemental resist would be pretty good. Adrenaline Surge, the threat of immediate death grants you a chance for a surge of health in a short span of greatly increased damage whenever your health falls below 25% would also be pretty good. Uh, Quake might be fun. What's here? Concussive Force. Mastery of the Art of Blunt Trauma grants you increased damage versus stunned enemies. Hmm. I might just go for Hardy Constitution here. Increase my health and elemental resistance. So we got new armor. Is it better? It is not. Okay. Then we get a new ring. 10% health. This charming ring is quaint in its simplicity. Um, I don't know if it's actually better. Well, it's probably better than this. Plus 7 health isn't as good as plus 10% health. Well, lockpicking is okay. I'm not super concerned about it. Where's she at? Hello. Ah, thanks for dealing with Lekka. I, I wasn't really afraid, mind you. Just playing the parts all. Well, now that this business is over, just give me the ring and I'll give you your payment. Uh, I think I'll hold on to it. Oh, after seeing what you did to that troll, I'm not keen on the idea of getting on your bad side. Keep the ring if you so please. I will. Looks like there's no fairy tale ending after all. You would make a good traveler. Hi, uh, Maiden's Ring. Mm. Enjoying it, are you? Good. Now why don't you leave well enough alone? Uh, travelers. New to the Feylands, ain't ya? We travelers are already talked about aside, that. It's pretty much common knowledge that we're some of the greatest thieves. Gone with you. All right, cool. We're leveled up again. That always feels good. Um, Star Camp is at its map. Don't see it anywhere. All right. Well, for you guys, this episode won't be nearly as long as it was for me. Uh, next episode, we will go and talk to both... The... I think everyone in the Shield Ring Keep, if we can, and then uh, the House of Ballads as well. Try to knock out both areas, so all dialogue is condensed into one episode, so if you don't want to listen or watch all the dialogue, you can skip ahead. Uh, but we'll also be exploring the settlements, buildings, compounds, whatever you want to call them. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.